Hi guys, Steve here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to tame a Dinopithecus, a red-assed baboon. But before I do, 73% of you aren't subscribed to my channel. So please help me out with YouTube and subscribe, click the like button and show me that you want me to make more of this content. Thank you. You can find a Dinopithecus of baboons in a redwood area. They're usually in groups on the ground. And you can find them in this brown area in the middle right of a map. The Dinopithecus can run a lot faster than you can, so you'll need to stay out their way. You can either stand on a tall rock so they can't get you, use the cinema chops to fly above them and shoot down, or what I'd advise is take a crossbow with grappling hooks. The baboons hang around in their own groups, with the highest level one becoming the alpha. You can only tame the alpha, and to do that you need to kill the lower level baboons in their group. If you kill a lower baboon from a different group than the alphas, that won't count in taming the alpha. Show you how I round them up with a cinema chops. I've done a video on how you easily tame one of these, but I'll link at the end. Shoot the lower one with a shotgun. And then before you run out of stamina, use your grappling hook to shoot a tree. Reel yourself in with the left mouse button, make sure you're high enough. The left one is glowing, so I'll shoot the right one, which is a low level. You're killing the lower baboons in front of the alpha to scare the alpha, and that's to start the taming process. They might run off, but if you've done damage to them, they usually come back. We're going ape at the moment. I'm driving them bananas. I'm not monkeying around. <laughs> okay, that's enough puns. Right, I've killed a lower level one and I've got the alpha isolated. I don't want this one and I'm going to start again to show you how to do it if you don't have cinema chops. But before I do I just wanted to show you that you cannot bowler them. Okay let's tame one of these for real. You'll need a grappling hook and a crossbow. I'm taking a shotgun to defend myself. There's a fairly high level one. When you've got its attention, switch to the crossbow, shoot high up in a tree, so you're out their way and the rest of them should follow you. One on the right is glowing, so I'm going to shoot the ones on the left, which are the lower level ones. Right, I've killed those and scared the alpha. Now we can move on to the next phase of the taming. Before, there was text on the alpha saying you must kill one of the group to scare the alpha. I'll just drop down to show you that's gone. Now the text says its health must be below 85%. It's still aggressive, so I'll get back onto the tree. You don't need to drop down. I just did to show you the text change. So once the alpha is alone, start damaging it. I'm gonna keep shooting it until a fair amount of blood appears. Remember you have to get its health below 85%. Once you've done that, it starts walking around. You could also use a magnifying glass, but you'd have to get close to it. I'm just using it to show you how much this one's got, but if it's bloody, you'll know it's below 85% anyway. Right, now drag Extraordinary Kibble to your hotbar. Go up to it and press E and you'll feed it. That starts the taming process. Now it'll walk around. And you get a baboon's butt in your face if you follow it. And some fine cheeks. <laughs> you can also put the tame list on and put a tracker if you don't want to keep following it because it's a bit annoying getting close all the time but I do follow it to protect it from any other creatures because you don't want a car note eating it when it's damaged or anything just going to wait for it to get hungry again Watch your food there and its health. 100% taming effectiveness. Let's 
Just having a poop. I'll show you how long it takes to get hungry. So you know how long you'll have to stay with it. Check if it's hungry yet. Nope. Looks like it's lost his keys or contact lenses. I'll just watch it from here. That's I don't seem to be any predators around. Show the length of the first feed. Looks hungry again. Let's feed it. Oh, almost done. Right, you saw how long that took to feed. You don't have to watch me wait again, so I'll skip forward a little bit until it's hungry again. It's about a minute later. Let's go and check on it. Hungry again. And there we go. We've tamed a Dinopithecus. Let's call it Monkey Fluff. Look at that fine figure of an ape. And that ass. Right, let's get on it. Right, left mouse button is to attack. And it bites and swipes with its claws. Let's look for something else to hit. Right mouse button is to do a double punch on the ground that does the AOE damage. So it damages anything around it. Let's get some trees close to each other. So jump to a tree and it can climb. Use the W key to go up and the S key to go down. Then if you look to the side and you get a blue arrow, you can jump. You can jump and land on another tree. So you can jump from tree to tree, which is really good. Just level up. Let me just get rid of that point. All right, let's jump to there. Press jump again and you'll hold on to the tree. If you jump and drop down, you don't take any fall damage. You don't have to worry about dying. In the bottom left, you've got a grenade and a poop icon. If you drag the poop into its inventory, I put the grenades in as well. Those icons fill up blue. Now you can select to throw poop, a grenade, or an infested grenade. The poop slows a creature down. There's a timer for a few seconds before you can throw it again. There we go, hit it. As you can see, Aptodon's flying slowly. Right, let's select the grenade. Oh, should have thrown higher. Right again. Is he gonna move that away? There he is. I think the AoE damaged it. Then you can do infested grenade, which is a poop and grenade mix. So it'll explode and slow the creature down. Like so. Uh, Dimorph's flying slowly now. These things are really fast for movement. Good at jumping. Let's try and take it up a cliff. Just keep jumping. So these can climb over most things. Grr. 
Now for some bonus info. You cannot pick them up with an RG, they're just too big. Plus they move around really quick so they're hard to grab. You can pick them up with a Quetzal. Here I'm just going down and grabbing the Alpha. Just checking it's the right level. He's glowing. I didn't kill the beta in his group. So I'm going to fly this back to a trap. He looks scared with his arms up. <laughs> looks like he's panicking. Alright, drop it in there. Remember, I didn't kill the beta that was in his group. You go up to it. Damage it. Check its health. And it says, scare the alpha by killing one beta. So I grabbed a random baboon. One from a different group. Drop that in. Oh, wrong weapon. That one's level 20. So I'm going to kill this. No, this is a beta. But it wasn't part of his beta group. So I've killed that. Go up to this one. And it still says I need to kill one of his beaters. So like I said before, that doesn't work if you kill a beta outside his group. What you can do, however, is walk around the forest with a grappling hook, jump to a tree when you see a group. That's quite a lot of baboons. Kill all the beaters there, right next to the alpha. So the alpha is scared. Then drop down out the tree. Damage alpha so it's below 85%. Just shoot until you see a fair bit of blood. Go up to it. There we go. It wants to eat. Then to make sure your tame will be safe, you could pick it up with a Quetzal or a Tech Skiff. Then take it back to your trap. Drop the scared alpha into your trap. Land... Then go up to it. It's still hungry. Feed it exceptional kibble from a zero of your hotbar. You'll notice its health's gone up to full. Because it was a while to take it back to the trap. But it's still open to be tamed. Just land my quetzal so it's out of way. Then wait for it to get hungry and then keep feeding it again. And we've tamed ourselves another Dinopithecus. The upsides of taking it to a cage is that it's safe and you don't have to follow it around. But the downsides is when you go off to get your Quetzal and then come back, you might lose your Alpha as it moves around. But if you feed it once, then you can track it on your tame list. So you can follow the tracking icon back to it. And that's how you tame a Dinopithecus. If you like this video and it helped you, please subscribe, click the bell notifications and all, so you get notified when I upload more videos. And click the like button to show you want more of it. Share it with your friends to help them out. And I hopefully will see you again. Goodbye.